Hello everyone, I am Fajar Purnama and on this video is about single board computer and on Raspberry Pi 3 model B and I would like to demonstrate how to flash a Raspbian stretch with a desktop operating system on an SD card to be put into the Raspberry Pi 3 so you can go to this to their website and you can download the Raspbian operating system you can choose whether you want a desktop or just if a console and then you need a, a software to flash this OS image to the SD card which I use Rufus there are many softwares out there maybe there's even a default Windows software but I prefer to use Rufus for this video so let's get started so here I have already downloaded the Raspbian stretch for desktop which is about 4.7 gigabyte and uh, this Rufus uh, software utility so let's run mm, yes okay and then need to start this okay yeah oh it's running where is it It says it's running, but I guess there's some problem. So okay, here it is. It takes some time. So here I have an SD card which is the size of 16 gigabyte, and then I would like to choose the image, which is a Raspbian desktop stretch, and you can show advanced option in this and looks like they will do the formatting for you the options for you and all you need to do is press the start button and warning all data on device SD cards and gigabyte will be destroyed to continue this operation click OK to quit click cancel so proceed and that is all for the video and that's it that is the simplest way to flash the OS into the SD card while waiting for this flash to finish let me explain about a bit about this single board computer so the single board computer here there are many types include this one is Raspberry Pi 3 there is Orange Pi, Asus Tinkerboards, Zingberry um, and many other more but I forgot you can search for single board computer on the internet so this so for this one I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 model B which cost $35 and the specification in summary briefly is a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Broadcom or core of CPU PCM2837 and equipped with a 1 gigabyte RAM and it is a uh, the size is a uh, 85.60 in width long and this is the wide I think and 56.5 millimeter long or whatever and if for and if you compare the CPU alone no no actually I search for I search on Amazon about a laptop and a full ThinkPad T617658 and which cost $99 it should be almost the processing, the processing power should be almost equal to the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B however if you want 
and if you can see that the Raspberry Pi Module 3B cost $35 while well, compared to the notebook which is $99 this is much cheaper however to fully utilize the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B you at least need an SD card which is over 4 gigabyte I bought uh, 16 gigabyte and this one is at least five dollars i check on um, amazon and to power this raspberry pi 3 model b you need a cable um, otg cable or cable type c b i forgot which one but it is a cable that is used to charge your android phone samsung and so ever not iphone but an Android and you can use a you can use a power bank if you want to carry this anywhere you want or you can just plug in into some external or other sources what you need is a cable and since I'm carrying this Raspberry Pi 3 to like to the forest to any outskirt regions or place where you you can't easily find electricity so I need a power bank so I search on Amazon that there is a power bank of 2.2500 milliampere hour that costs at least $23 so you need this one and the required peripherals at least this these things to run the Raspberry Pi 3 and there are uh, supplementary peripherals such as the display if you need to if you want to a, a desktop or to see a display you can buy a display for the raspberry pi which is twenty dollar or you can just use any regular monitor or buy a regular monitor but you need an hdmi cable to connect an ethernet cable to connect to the internet which is cost six dollars but you probably know and of course a mouse and a keyboard to modify this unless you already have one well that's that for this picture and let's see by the way i'm recording this session on windows 10 and using a geforce shadow nvidia shadow sorry is using a geforce experience software so while waiting what else should i talk about okay you need an hdmi cable so on the next so on the next video i will let's see hdmi cable no, no, let's go for google HDMI cable so to connect the that's the Raspberry Pi to the to the monitor like this one for example you need an HDMI cable no this is USB anyway an HDMI cable oh, this one Yeah, this one, an HDMI cable. And on the next video, and on the next video, I will, after I flash this SD card, I will demonstrate how to connect, to turn this on, and how to use the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, not to use, but to start up on the next video first. And that's actually it while waiting for a little more to finish let's search on google what is a single board computer so they are these are single board computer there is a single board is paper t and latte panda whoa this looks new but i'll try maybe here on the figipedia a single board computer is a complete, complete computer built on a single circuit board with, uh, with microprocessors, memory input output I.O. 
with mem processors, memory, and input time, output, and I/O, and other features required of a functional computer. A single board computers were made as a demonstration of development system for educational system or for use as embedded computer controllers. Many types of home computers or portable computers integrated all their functions into single printed computers. Yeah, so the application, there are many stuff. For me, I'm using it as a web server and a hotspot server. I'm mostly using this single board computer in the field of information technology, in education, and in e-learning. Well, a little bit more. No. So this is my research. It's about single board computers, and I publish them in a hand carry computer data collecting to questionnaire and quiz alike using mini computer. So I implement uh, on a uh, computer base quiz. Okay, so yeah, it's so my rest current research on this Raspberry Pi 3 or single byte computer is to implement a computer based survey using single board computer without internet connection. Okay, it's finished. Cancel. So it's finished. You can remove. And close. See you on the next video.